Good morning folks and welcome back to Buy Spring. Here we are as we're just picking up these bills that we actually dropped in into the Surrey Pit I was it, about a few couple of months ago actually. But yeah, so I thought about it, I thought yeah, we can get a Tayander. I can grab it, so now we're in the process of picking up these bills, so come on. I'm just gonna pick up this last uh, size bell. Picked up the other one just fine. But yeah, we need to pick these up before we fill this slurry pit up. Or we see some slurries coming in from the. I guess it's from the cow shed, but. Yeah, for some reason we are struggling here a little bit. Well, if we get to. Oh no, get the clip through. But yeah, we need to get these up. Solidage, not a problem. Destroll, uh, maybe a slight different question there, but. Come on, just go for the gate. Wish we could just open this gate. If we open the gate. Oh, we can. Oh, <laughs> I did not make it do that. That makes our life so much easier now. Uh, in, in theory. One thing I do not want to do is get this stuck in because if that happens, oh boy, we're in trouble. I'll just get struck on it. There we go. I do not, we can do that on Bay Spring. And what we're on episode. I lost track of what episode we're on now, but. We've been playing it for some time, got about 130 hours into this map already, so... A bit of information to know. That makes sense why we could potentially clip through it. Because there's an actual object with collisions and all that. And yeah, we can use that to our advantage. But anyways, back onto the actual episode here. Got a bit sidetracked there. We've got some work to do. So, in the last episode, we bought a bunch of brand new equipment and we started doing some field prep work. So, we need to finish the field prep work off and also in preparation for the next episode, we've gone and bought, well, not bought, sorry, at least the potato planter. So, we just park this somewhere over here. We're gonna have a frame rate death anyways at some point. But yeah, so we bought sorry, at least this. The Greenly GL860 Compactor. And this is a multi-fruit, this can do all sorts of crop. But we got delicious potatoes in here, so got fifteen thousand liters of potatoes in here. But that's going to be for the next episode, for when we start planting some delicious Irish, good old Irish potatoes on this field. Potatoes! But yes, <laughs> get charges there. But yeah, task at hand is lightning, mulching this grass field. Yeah, I've got to mulch this and technically we've got to mulch. Oh boy, got a mulch full of this. Well, I don't want to. But we need to do it for, for the environmental score. Uh, uh, so, what do we start with? Mulching or lightning? I think whilst we're here, hop into the Kubota. Oh yeah, we've got to do so much mulching. This bit here? Not an issue. This bit over here, I've got to do it in sections. So I've got to do this bit, this bit, and that bit, and this bit over here as well. Actually, no. Do we have to do it on this one? I think so. And then also, we've got to mulch the big old mega field, the main mega field. I'll mulch the crop that's already in there. No, I'm not sure if it's a crop, but anyways. Got to mulch everything, <laughs> so obviously 
I'm going to show where everything happens because for one, you folks have seen them before. Two, there'll be an entire episode of just mulching otherwise, and that'll be boring. Well, for you folks at least watching, for me, yeah, I don't mind. If it was me, mulching, crack on it. But does this need mulching as well? I'm guessing yes. Check, so I think we can mulch this to be, or maybe I'm mistaken. So, yeah, have a look here soybeans, all that stuff. Here. Yeah, I think I can't see a texture difference between that, so. No, Pat, the last one less thing we need to mulch in this episode. <laughs> Amongst the main things we need to do, but anyways, yeah. Uh, yeah, just dreading doing all this work. It's going to take us hours. I think what? Leave on times one. We're at 7.18. Also, we're going to do a time lapse here shortly. And getting all this done. But really, the time lapse is going to be two and a half minutes or so. Three minutes top, so in real time, that'll be. Uh, about 24, 24, 25 minutes of time lapse in. And then, yeah, we'll jump cut to the first we're done. Yeah, I do apologise if I get. Yeah, Space out combined just to dread enough to work what I do here. I think what's the time now in real life? Five minutes past five in the morning, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, good old bonfire night, celebrate that, that with family. But anyways, enough of that. Let's grab a coffee, and a drink or two. Maybe some little other stream lunch to keep us awake, in hint. <laughs> Uh, I'm only kidding, but yeah, so let's get all this done and I'll see you folks once we're done here.
there we go. Two hours later, we are finally done for the mold chain. And as you may see, we did swap to the new Holland just because the Kubota did have the oh, oops, I horsepower requirement. Oh boy, <laughs> it's not paying attention there. But yeah, so whilst the Kubota had the requirement to pull the mulcher, it did struggle even in the time that some of the little hills we were hitting. And when we do like the big fields up there, uh, yeah, it was coming a big old issue for us. But yep, so we pretty much done everything, including like, the fields that I had cropped in already, like the barley field and the canoe ones. You can see the one there on the left has to be mulch, that was canoe, I think. No, that was barley, and another one was canoe on the other field, I think. But yeah, so. The reason why I did that is because I just want a bit of a fresh start on basically with what we're doing, we know exactly where it is. So, alright, so the tractor is over here, needs to recover that. That one's going to be an issue for us. We did it before the John Deere, so. But yeah, the neat weeding needs to be done on these fields as well. That's got the bargain. Because, yeah, just to recap on what crops we're doing, we're we going to be doing canola, sunflower, soybeans, potatoes, and corn. That is one, two, three, four, five. Main reason is if we head to our productions, we need oil. Don't need oil, but we like to have oil. So, soybeans, oh, yeah, soybeans corn, canola and sunflower. So sunflower, corn. Yeah, so yeah. So this field here is going to be potatoes. Or I may do potatoes on this field here. I think yeah, if we do the big one, potatoes, why not? Let's do it. So potatoes is going to be in this big field. Then soybeans is going to be this field over here. Sunflower will be in this field over here. Then corn will be this field over here. Go that goes up and down. And the merge fields here and these two separate fields is going to be the canola or rapeseed. So one we're going to have lots of potatoes. Yeah, we need to find an area to process the potatoes, but I'm thinking okay, that's going to be a bit of a struggle for us. Oh no, don't get stuck with yourself. Well, if we just detach. So that's Sarah safe. We just pull that back. Just get this lip up then. I think we can There we go. That's it. Come on. I think that's going to be as close enough as we like to have it. So. Yeah, I didn't expect in this episode to be recovering a tractor again. So. If this doesn't work, I do have a plan B. Problem is, it's just the weight, so. Yeah. I don't have enough weight. And even if he did, he would struggle, so I think something like a wheel loader or something would be more beneficial. Actually, let's have a look here. We do have the money. Because this has happened twice now, wouldn't it be reckless of us? Yeah. That's got a pin hook on the back, so I think what heck it. Safety, yep, we're gonna need all the safety beacons, yep. On side, sure why not? Then obviously we're gonna need none of those. 
Even though that does say that I was half a ten the thousand in your bucket. I think, no, heck, it will buy that, because I think we can have a use of that at some point. But yeah, so if we go to front loader tools, go over here to. I think Ferris is one of the best mods in Farm Sim in terms of tools and equip equipment. The big bag winch. So we want GCB. Now the weight. So I do want to have a quick look. So which one? Oh, that's the one we need. Dang it. If we could have a way to hook that on, that'd be best. However, we're going to have to settle for this. So it's three and a half tons, I'm sure. What heck it would do that? Nah, let's just stick with a typical JCB yellow and then go black everywhere else. So that was a 343 grand mistake we just done there. But say we're gonna have uses for it, so yeah, we do also have a line of ass because. We will need to be doing some lightning. And which way is the hook up? Yeah, I won't try to hook up to this pin hook here, so hopefully it works. If not, we'll just buy another tractor. I can have this have enough time we go. Here we go. Actually that's a three point linkage on the back. Oh, no, it's not in case it's a three point mount. Is there a way to go under miscellaneous? That's to. Would that work? I don't think so. Could try it. that hooked on maybe we can double the weight apparently we can hook that up oh no I don't think so actually I don't think so I'm just going to hook up but so that's got to go got to go around so you know if we can get that hooked on we can double this up think so anyways we will return that one let's go recover the tractor so let's see if we can actually go ahead and recover this so first of all we've got a three and a half ton way on the back I think this way something like 400 kilograms the actual JCB itself we have a look under wheel loaders that weighs 24 and a half ton no 27.1 tons so we've got three tons having to recover 14 and a half tons so we've got a bit of a better ratio here so let's get as far as down as we can there we go And there we go. Right, we'll be careful, so I'll wreck this. Come on, then. Got it up now. Now, can we actually cover this? So, there we go. Just gotta be gentle with it. There we go, just lift it. Go, we have done it. Let's try and have a look underneath there. Um, it's just a little funny or so. There we go. 
we'll have to stop in here now. Apart from it being absolutely filthy, it looks all good. So, there we go. Nope, wrong equipment. I really should be getting out of this barry field rather than messing around. Obviously, if it's doing a proper recovery, it would have used like, the TLX Wreckit equipment, but for that angle, we'll require this or a better wheel loader or better wheel better tail under I mean or a tractor with a three point leakage and the front loader the front loader to lift it up and then we can get the boom from the racket underneath and then to look it up that way but anyways we have recovered we are safe we are good so I think from that we can just put this back put it in storage Turn the engine off. So, how does it look at Surrey? 25,000 years in the pit. But some of that, actually, no, all that is from the actual cow shed. And yeah, they're fine for food at the moment. And that's the thing, these cows are absolutely hungry. They demolish all the feed. So, that's why we're struggling to keep up the feed for the cows. But we bought a bunch of loads of TMR in that episode, I think. So yeah, something like 2 million. Yeah, 1.8 million litres of manure we've got. We've got tons of straw. We've got that hay bale back, so we put a nine there, so. We've got hay, got silage, and got a bit of straw, so. We can make a little quick batch of TMR if needed. But now, it's down to the liming, so. In the last episode, if we have a look here on the precision farming map, we want PH. So, see, we've done all this here, we've done these, but now we need to do all of these. Oh, that's particularly quite acidic, that is. I'm not sure why, is there a crop in there? Yeah, it's at 5, 4.75. Seeing that some parts of land are a bit acidic as well, we need to get to a nice neutral around six or seven. So I'm thinking we start on this mega field over here, go across this field, get that done, and then we start doing the harder fields afterwards. Especially if we start down here, if we run out, we just quickly pop to the store. Especially if there's a little access way here, I think, or yeah, I think it's like somewhere there we can access the shop if needed, so... But yeah, just to double check... With... Yeah, see... PH is absolutely perfect. If we come out here and have a look at the soil... PH is perfect. Nitrogen is... Okay, as well as... Was it zero? Yeah, zero, but well, that's good because... At most, our fields will have 40 kilograms, actually. Saying that, that would mean... Because we're going to do soybeans. Soybeans doesn't need nitrogen, so... Ideally, soybeans would be better in this field over here. There's less of that. I think if we do soybeans here instead it's yeah I think because yeah it's quite high up there Ooh. yeah this we do yeah that's quite that's really acidic up there not acidic um high nitrogen but I think it shouldn't matter too much so but yeah so anyways let's go to the mega field or the first mega field which is just down here so we got 25,000 years that should last us a while but depends on how much the soil needs so but here it's not too bad at the moment yeah 
Yeah, here's an inquiry. Small bit of nitrogen. And if that's the case, then, well, pH on my nitrogen getting to mix up now. If it's like this, it'll last a while. But now I'm going to 4.38 tons required, 5.26 tons per hectare. That's because it's a variety. It's all computer electronically controlled, so we know at any given point. How much nitrogen soil needs? Like down to three and a half tons now. And that's the thing, it's gonna be very sporadic. And that's why we need to do nitrogen, is just get that firm baseline down. And also this will help us get the perfect environment score of 100. Because we won't try to be as environmentally friendly as possible. Treat soil right, soil will treat you well in return with good yields and just in general good longevity because obviously with all the agriculture we're doing nowadays I think like most places like the soil you got about what a hundred harvests left before the soil pretty much gives up because obviously with all the chemicals and that we're using in the soil and this will just help us just to preserve that longevity and that's why we where we can, we avoid things like ploughing, ripping up soil, ripping up those nutrients and just resort to cultivation or ideally just directly drill it into the ground once we've harvested and mulched the ground. But yeah, it's all in the day's work of being a farmer here and we've got a lot of work to do so you know what, best we can do is get us on the time lapse. And I'll see you folks once we're done here. It should take us to perhaps like the afternoon, I think. Yeah, around 12 o'clock, another two hours time. That's however long it takes at the end of the day. But yeah, get us all done. And I'll see you folks in the morning.
actually turned out was about two hours later. We are finally done with all the liming. What took so long was also fitting up. We did bring the GCB down to help with the loading of the line. But even still, it was a bit of an arduous task, but well done, thanks to the help of a leased equipment, we leased a Wonder Bread All Fertilizer Spreaders, and that really helped us out a lot indeed, so yeah, overall, it wasn't too bad. But anyways, we've got this topped up with lime as we head back to the farm, and we're just going to put this away. Also, be been thinking, and we're going to change things up of what we're doing with the seeding situation. Basically, what we're going to be doing is actually, this field over here, this big old field here, is going to be the potatoes where it's flat, being as many pylons and all that to deal with, so it's going to be easier to harvest because I'm not sure we're going to, exactly how we're going to harvest, I think. If we look at potato technology, we got the Green Venters or the Viroton 470 Flam Terra Track. Or there is a, like a, ain't there like a self propelled one? I thought there was like a self propelled potato harvester. Ah, the other is actually, it's under. Yeah. It could be something like one of these, so. Have a look. Cedar, cedars. We can use that as like a horn topper. And then go over it with one of these. One and a half meters working with. But I think if we do potatoes, which we are, something like this would be beneficial to us. The thing is, can we get to the farm? That's going to be the problem. But I went to work that out. But yeah, so I think all left now is start doing the planting, so actually we'll get the small John Deere onto this and then we can do start off with soybeans on this and we'll do the mega fields. This is easier to maneuver and yeah, with the pylons, we can just, yeah, wiggle all the way around. We ain't gonna have as much potatoes, but I think we're still gonna have enough to process and convert into some delicious knockoff Walker's Crisp. That's gonna be the plan is getting the potato processing down, so actually, you know what? Let's do that now. Let's get them down ready, so we've got the money. We head to the BGA. Go to our production. So we want the potato processor. So it's not these. It's going to be like these, I think. So the potato processing plant. That's what we want. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of these silos. We're going to use them. So let's do quick paint over landscaping. Yes, yeah, so there we go, just quick, go over, get all painted up, covered up. So yeah, back down to productions. I'll go across again. Oil, there we go, potato processing plant. So actually for this, I do want the markers on. So I can actually see where everything's going to come out. Not that one. So the potatoes are going to come out at the front. So we can put the back end stuff in there against the hedgerow. So with that, we can get all sorts of chips, crisp, and a whole variety of other products like potatoes. So like soybeans, corn, and that. But Really, it's just going to be the potatoes we're going to be utilising. So I think you can know what? Okay, we'll put that there. Trails in the way, but actually, uh, maybe a blessing because 
Alright, can you help us control? Yeah, I think you know how to move that, but it gives us space to obviously maneuver in for when we do that. Oh, this is going to be really expensive. You want the. Oh, that's just massive, that is. You know what? Okay, we'll say put it there. Good thing we didn't need to access the back, and actually. Actually, what? Screw that, we'll get rid of that. Lucky we got all of our money back from that. Not like a half price or anything, so. Okay, it's actually just the front we need to access, so. Actually, that works out really well for us, so I'm thinking. Again, somewhere like that. Uh, I do think we need these. I think these are. Potato storage and sorted here. So that's. Sorts it and stores it. And these are just store. Sorts it with the bag. So. I don't think we're going to need this. I'm just going to have a look. So it's been a while since I've had a look. I actually start off with looking at this. So with the potato processing, we can get... Oh, so we can get oils, I think. Is that it? So we can use the sunflower and vegetable oil. We can further the process to get vegetable fats and soybeans. Just soybeans in general, not soybean oil. And with that vegetable fat, but yeah, this is what we're looking at. pre potatoes, just add water, and that will get us what? pre potatoes and starch. Uh, what so so? But then we can use the pre potatoes and the vegetable fat that we will get from this to get French fries. If we had cheese, we can produce potato gratin. Fried potatoes that requires like onions and that, so no. But where's crisp? Starch, if you use a vegetable fat and starch, and some eggs, we can get pancakes. But where is, is our knockoff crisp? Paprika chips. That's gonna be our, like, our not, I guess, our not tough walkers. But that requires peppers, so... Really? Is that it? I thought there was more to it, but I mm, guess not. But yeah, so we've got a huge option we can do. And then with the potato sorting, we can sort the potatoes out. We can get a thousand potatoes, convert that into... Waste potatoes. Sea potatoes, I don't know that. Top. So yeah, really, we just want... Then, then again, we can have an option to bag them, so that'll be pig food. So really, we want this, so... Either we can get... Pig food directly, or waste potatoes, but the main ones we're looking at is... Potato seeds... And then our premium potatoes. So those, okay, there are premium potatoes up there, but these are also premium potatoes. And is there a difference? A little contract there. I may do that. <laughs> but yeah, so let's go to prices. So now we've got to look at the costs of everything. Is it worth doing this? See so yeah, it. Those premium potatoes. Would get us 1200 quid. Yeah, 1200 quid pretty much all around, so we could sell them at any time, really. So, French fries get four and a half grand for a thousand years. Paprika chips, we can get seven grand. Downside is that's towards like harvest time. 
but yeah, also, yeah, these premium potatoes are only worth 800 quid. So, 800 quid compared to 1200 quid. Uh, is there a difference in? So, we get half from that. So, alright. But from this, it's. Okay, it's a 4 to 1, so 25%. So actually, is it 50% difference between the two? So, where was it? Prime potatoes there. Ah, uh, Prime potatoes there. So let's say, let's take the maximum price. That's, let's say, 900 versus 1300. So. Actually, for pre potatoes, we want to use this. We do get slightly better value, but then also we get the starch and all that, and vegetable fat. So, the vegetable fat we can't sell, starch we can sell. Again, just to remind ourselves so, potatoes, yeah, we get starch. That's a better production rate. It produces more per month. So actually that may be better this one. So I think what we'll do is we'll use a mixture of both. But then also with the soybeans, sunflower and vegetable oil. We can do that. But how do we get peppers? Is there like a greenhouse for peppers? Yes, there is. So we would need like some of these down as well. Ooh. I think you know what? Let's okay. Just use water. We're not going to own this or that, so well, we can own it. Actually, why not? But yeah, I think for now, if we say. We just whack a couple of these down. So, if we put down there, because we can distribute the water to them. And then, one more like that. So, there we go. That's going to be underway. So now what we can do is we need peppers. So let's get these producing peppers. And if we set them to distribution. Distribution. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Okay, not sure about cucumbers though. Well, if you also set that to distribution there, there we go. Distribution and distribution. So that's that, that's that. But let's see, what about sea potato and all that? How much are they worth? Have a quick look over here. We'll say that with the prime so if we bag them. They are worth more. Sea potatoes are, yeah. The wastes aren't worth as much, but obviously we can convert that into pig food. And is there a sub price for potato? Um, not potatoes. Um, pig food. Actually, I'm not sure. Don't recall seeing anything. No. But I'm sure we can sell the pig food at the sell everything point. Worst case all, we just put our own sell point down. That's when does any of these come with a sell point, so... Actually, if you put that there... We may get some better prices for some stuff, so... We'll put that one down there. Ah, we 
Wait a minute, we sell. Oof, that's a big place. So is that. Ah, farmer's market expanded. So we can sell our oils. Sell the potatoes. And our waste of potatoes, so... Maybe that's the one we want. You take like one of these down. Maybe, just maybe, but... But also, sell everything. Whack that down there. Yeah, I mean, I'm just sort of waiting at the place and stuff down, but... I think I may, I may move to sell points down the road on my find just by plot land. There, there we go, so... Yep, water's just been transferred over. And that is running pretty much, so... I think... We can leave the episode there as we start doing the seeding. And the good thing about using this is got ah, soybeans. Why can we plant soybeans? Uh soybeans, soybeans. Ah, April. So anything we can plant now is canola, potatoes and sugar beets, so Yeah, we need to plant sunflower, and that's going to be in. Uh, let's do sunflower here, then we just do corn up there. It doesn't matter too much. Well, yeah, so anyways, that is yeah, pretty much in depth <laughs> towards the end of the episode. Off, getting things down, figure out where we need to put stuff in that, but. I think overall our options are looking good. As once again I decided to Oh shut up. Crash into oh, what? You can shut up. Actually you know what that works. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't catapult that into space because there's been a few times where off camera I've done a bit of cheeky work off removing fences and that. Not in this episode, of course, but in other episodes. And yeah, like with the Deutsche Fire tractor we had to replace, that got launched into space and. But yeah, so, anyways, as I was saying, this is where I'm going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, Smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to it, then please consider. But for to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, it's me, Farmer, and Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.